Well, football here intertwined with the Hello, history everybody. of this land. To Some would argue that despite the objections of many, okay. Europe has always led the footballing scene. An argument justified, perhaps, when one looks out on Everyone, this, this extraordinary the game ahead of a bid to be king of Europe. That is what is at stake here. And the matchday noise at this place is truly special. The pride, the passion, it adds to a massive sense of occasion. And we rise now for the English national anthem. Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. Jim, one of Europe's happiest days. Yeah, I find it difficult to disagree with that, Peter. Um, one of the biggest regrets in, in my international career that I never got to experience this, only the qualifiers, but at least I'm ready for what's coming now. the whistle and here we go well that is one way to stop him so Jim who would you identify as the key man in this fixture well Peter I think the role Jude Bellingham will be given will be important here he's like a combination of a, a number eight and a number six great defensively very aggressive too in going after the ball but he's also a very neat dribbler so not the type to, to stay put, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of that today. Yeah, he would be the obvious choice, wouldn't he? He certainly has all the right qualities. Well, the defence proved infallible then, but that won't be the last they'll see of him. Oh, that's a foul, free kick's been given. Alexander-Arnold spots it and intercepts. Palmer. Oh, no question, that's a foul. It has been a rather gentle affair so far. Not played the ball, that's a foul.
Bellingham. And it's Kane. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Bellingham. And he's seen that early. He's the certain sixth sense. Foden. Nice interception, well timed. And that's a good ball. And the finish! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. Same again, same outcome. This is proving to be a very good spell. The intensity is great, but uh, they've got to make it count. The taker has to look for options because an aerial supply doesn't look promising here. Decent chance! No, he didn't quite meet it right. It's headed upfield. That's positional goals, the utilisation of space. Oh, he'll be annoyed with himself for not getting there. Almost half an hour in now. Foden. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. It's just beyond his reach. Well, it looked promising for a moment, but it came to nothing. Alexander-Arnold calmly anticipates. And it's Kane, and he's managed to get free. Now it's... And the shot! Goal! England! England take the lead! That looks like a preconceived plan. Win the ball and then unleash. England take the lead, 1-0. It's so often the case with goal scorers, little influence, and all of a sudden, bang. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. 1-0 the score. He won't be happy with that one. Shifted it to the flank. England really should be happy to let this half run out. The referee's awarded a free kick. Taken back almost at once. Kane. Passes coming off in quick succession here. Bellingham! And he nearly went all the way. I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him with the ability he has. He can reproduce. It's a really well measured ball. Strong running down that left flank. Added time. Saka. 
In by Saka. He gets big. Oh, that was no routine save. Kane, actually. Referee's had a look, and he's blown his whistle for half time. Steady, solid, and for now, where they want to be. Just one goal, and they have it. Good effort from both sides, but at half time, That's it is 1 0. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Yes, they're behind, but it's a, a reversal of the situation. As long as better defensive focus can, can avoid a second goal on the counter, they know they have the wherewithal to come up with what they need. England head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. So we're just settling back into this second half. England going well here, and they're in a good position to kick on and add to their lead. They don't have to overcommit, but they can place more emphasis on stretching their advantage without necessarily neglecting things defensively. A well played. Foden proves too strong. England can counter promptly here. He's shifting through the gears. It's Kane! And he has kept it out somehow. Kane clearly thought he had the beating of the keeper. It's their second corner of the game. And he's there to... Chance to shoot! And that is doing no harm at all. It was very much worth a try, and I've seen worse. That should tee him up nicely for his next attempt at least. He's hit it long, but astray. England do have a chance to counter here. Saka. Such good technique. They're urging him to shoot. There's the hit! Alexander-Arnold. Still just a single goal between the sides. Dinks one through. Foden. A noticeable change in the approach to defending here. Much more in your face. Well, learning from your mistakes and not repeating them is never completely guaranteed, but that rear guard is, is more focused on him now. For Palmer. So, Jim, what are you thinking? Well, I think it's pretty clear. The message is to get the job done, and the sooner the better. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. The message is clear. None shall pass. Can he finish? It could fall kindly. So time for change, and this one has been on the cards for a little while. Well, he can certainly make his side a lot more unpredictable, Peter. You know, he has a very good eye for a pass, and, and a tricky one at that. Over to the left. Oh, that's such a good run. More of that, please. Can he Hit that sweeping. Keeper felt he had that covered. Some of the crowd were less convinced. It was really well drilled. Not the best distribution from the keeper. Well, he's felt that, hasn't he? Well, that's an inviting ball. 
And it's played forward. Alexander Arnold. Bellingham. Well, it didn't look good for a while, but that was brave defending, and they got away with it. You know, it was an intervention that had to be made. Serious trouble lay in store. Well, some are shouting for a corner, but the referee says goal kick. So there's going to be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Well, yet another interception and uh, a show of anticipation to be commended. And that is out of play. Can he get it through? You can never be short of runners in the space, as long as the space left behind is filled. Keep calm and carry on. That's the job in a nutshell now. He's looking to... He's had a shot! Loose put in for the pieces! Well, what a bit quick to recover this. 1-0 as we head towards the end. Aimed beyond the defence. Decent hit! Hits off target and by quite a way. Oh, it's a brilliant effort, you have to say that. He clearly wanted to do it in style. Substitution for Serbia. Number nine. A couple of changes Coming then in the quick succession. So they were calling for him, eight. and now they get him. Well, it does have its detractors always, but Route 1 has certainly proven itself effective over the years. He can run onto that. That is great defending, so alert. I thought it was going to happen then. How many more chances can they realistically expect now? Very much into the last knockings. Four added minutes has been indicated. He has found the way through. He rises! Oh, terrific save from the keeper. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. Point blank header! That was superb goalkeeping! Yeah, he was well placed to deal with that. Not too much more here than seeing out time, and time is very nearly seen out. Palmer. That's good running with the ball. Palmer. That's been cut out, well played. And the referee brings it to a close. England achieve exactly what they wanted on opening day. Three precious points on a traditionally testing occasion, and things are looking pretty good. Kane claiming the man of the match award, and there is very little room for argument. Any reflections on what you've seen?